Hello Taurus, let's welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin. In today, Taurus, we're going to find out how the person on your mind is thinking and feeling about you and what they plan on doing about it. So let's find out about the person on your mind, the spirit guides, the person on Taurus's mind, the person they came to this reading for. How are they feeling and thinking about Taurus right now? What actions do they plan on taking? Talk, talk to us, please, and thank you. And Taurus, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. So if you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So the person on your mind very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now pay attention to the red flag signs are cautioning you okay let's see what this is all about so the person on taurus's mind appears to be a little indecisive how are they feeling about taurus right now seven of cups the nine of cups five of swords and that they think you're keeping a secret from them taurus seven of cups nine of cups the Five of Swords and the High Priestess in Reverse are trying to figure you out. They cannot figure you out. It's like Edward Cullen and, and Bella. He can't read her mind. They can't figure you out. You're what they want. They see potential. They see true love. They see a genuine soul within you. But they cannot figure you the fuck out. So, Taurus, you might be keeping your clothes close to your chest. You might be feeling really aloof. You might just be really mysterious. So they're trying to get to the bottom of this. They're trying to figure you out. That might be why you're watching this and you can't figure it out. They're trying to see if there's red flags here because, like I said, they see the Nine of Cups with you, but you have this air of mystery about you. They can't figure you out. They think you're keeping secrets from them. <laughs> I don't know if you are or not, Taurus, but that's what they think. Um, but they see a lot of potential. Like I said, they see a genuine, the world in reverse with the Two of Wands. They don't want this to be over with you. Like, they want something with you. They're just extremely indecisive. They're going back and forth here. It's like, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what they're going to do. So the person about you, <laughs> they think they, like I said, they see a genuine soul here, but at the same time, they think you're keeping secrets. Clarify this. What, what do you want to say about these secrets? What do you, you want to say anything about that? What are they thinking here? The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they want to take things very slow. So it's like they see a lot of potential here, but they worry that there might be something that they don't see. So it's not that they think you're keeping secrets. They might be thinking that it's like, you know, when you meet someone, you fall in love and you see them with rose colored glasses. They feel like that's how they're looking at you. So it's not that you're keeping secrets. My apologies. It's that they are think that there's something that they're not seeing. It's like a flaw. They're not seeing kind of thing. Um, so they want to go slow. They do not want to take things too fast. I think if they go too fast, it'll create drama and they're going to get their heart hurt. So if your person's moving really slow, this would be why. But they got a lot of love to share with you, a lot of passion to guide with you. Um, the Hierophant, they want a commitment, the Nine of Swords, but they don't want to go too fast because they think they're going to get hurt. But they're facing the strength. It takes, it's taken them a lot of courage here to hold themselves back because of the potential that they see with you. So if you're sensing them being withdrawn and whatnot, and you sense that indecisive Taurus, that's why. So... Let's see what they're going to do in the next couple of weeks. What are they doing? What actions are they taking towards Taurus? What are they going to be doing, saying, talking, talk to us? Coming forward? Are they holding back? Are they dating? There's the Two of Wands again. There's the Two of Swords. They got choices. They're making... They Let's see if they make this choice. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Ah, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Four of Swords in reverse. And there's the Six of Wands. So it's like... Um, they're deciding they can't hold back the four swords in reverse. Um, it's like, they need to do this. It's like, they can't hold back, but they're really, really afraid that this isn't going to work out. Your person has a lot of fears. That's what's creating this indecisiveness, right? It, when we're indecisive, it's because our fears are controlling us instead of our trust in the divine or trust in the process. So this person is holding back. Um, I don't, but with the four swords are taking action. So Despite these disappointments, they're coming forward. There's the Six of Wands. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the Magician here, Taurus. So, <laughs> but they're still holding back. They're going to come to you like a boss. They want your attention. Um, they're going to let you know that. But this person's, um, they're not, how can I say this? It's like they're not going to be your fairy godmother. They're not going to come back perfect. They're still going to be holding back. They still have these fears. They're still going to let them guide them, control them. They're going to want to take this very, very, very slow because they do not want to get hurt here Taurus your person has a lot of fears of getting hurt they're letting the past come in they're literally trying to find um like I said they think 
there's something about you that they're missing. It's like, very interesting. Let's get a few Oracle messages. We'll see how you feel where you guys are in a month, but this person's taking action despite these fears. So, but, um, they're not coming all in. They're holding back a little bit. So be aware of that. Maybe hold back yourself a little bit. Don't go too fast because this person definitely wants to take their time with you. Um, but they want your attention. Like they want it all. So what is the caring connection? That's the problem. <laughs> they want it all with you, but I feel like they think it's too, look, you need to have trust in order for it to flourish. So just have trust that this person, they're of the way they feel is the nine of cups, but they have these doubts. They're trying to figure, they're trying to figure you out, Taurus. <laughs> they can't. And I think that kind of bugs them. And they might be like, you know, really good at figuring people out and they just can't quite figure you out. Um, or they're just trying to look for something that's not there. So what does Taurus need to surrender to when it comes to this person? Surrender in healthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and surrounded by positive people. And what is the lesson that this person is teaching you, Taurus? What is Taurus supposed to learn from this person? Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. That is such a Taurus quality. Tauruses know that for sure. But maybe you didn't and you're learning that from this person. So what is this person hiding or not saying that they want to say or that the universe wants Taurus to know? Talk to us. What is the hidden truth? What's being hidden from Taurus? Whoa, oh, got a few things here. What does this person want to say? I can't stop thinking about you. We will be together again. I want to feel that way again. Ooh. All right. Sounds like they're fantasizing about you, Taurus. <laughs> so let's get your potential outcome. Let's find out where you and this person are in a month. So I say potential because ah, there's always free will. And again, outcome. But where are you in a month? How's Taurus, how does Taurus feel about this person when they come and talk to you? Are you happy? Are you move forward? How does it go? What's going down? Talk to us. Taurus and the person on their mind, where are they in a month? Woo! See how that spun? <laughs> Damn! Taurus! Ah, but the King of Cups. There, look at this. The Magician, King of Cups in reverse, the Two of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, things are going amazing, but again, this person is still holding back their emotions. They have a lot of emotions. I think they're very overwhelmed, but... You guys are had this new beginning. The magician's all about communication. It's all about new beginnings. It's all about understanding that you have all the skills to make this work. So I don't think they could find anything to caution them. I think that was just paranoia. I think they're I'm afraid of how they feel, but it does not matter. Look at this. This is soulmate energy. This is divine timing. This is the universe bringing two people together when they're meant to be together. And in a month, you will be committed with this person. Um, but be aware that on the emotional level, they're still holding back a little bit here, Taurus. Um, they're very overwhelmed. They have a lot of feelings for you. And, um, I feel like they, if they just developed really quickly, it scared them a little bit and, um, it scared them. <laughs> There's no other way to say that, but that doesn't stop them. So that's amazing. So Taurus in a month, you're in a committed relationship, moving in a good direction. This is divine timing. So this is your person. <laughs> Let's get your final message to close this off. If you like this reading, um, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps others get the reading and message. I always appreciate it. Let's get your final message. If monks and nuns do not cherish their time of practice, they will have nothing to offer the world. Find peace in your extraordinary efforts. Your work is not in vain. Taurus, thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.